Strawberries hit music. B101. Okay, he's the host of At the End of My Leash and Puppy SOS. Brad Pattison's on the phone with me. Okay, Brad, hey, you're going to tell us all about heat exhaustion in pets, right? Okay, so Robin, with heat exhaustion, what happens is whenever you hear a dull little click, 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 so it's when they're breathing, that sound, you want to make sure that the dog gets some water. You want to make sure that you take a look at the length of the tongue that is sticking out of the mouth. It starts to get really, really long. Obviously, the dog needs a rest. When you stop, you want to see where the dog will, will seek shelter. Is it in a shady part underneath a tree? Is it behind you so the dog is, is hiding in your shade? Then these are signs that the dog needs to cool down. If the dog completely sprawls out and almost does a Bambi, then obviously the dog is getting very hot. So what people need to do, most importantly, is take cool water and pour it on the head and scrunch it in with your hands. Okay, that's step one. Okay. Step two, take cool water and pour it on the dog's head and scrunch it in. Now, if you take a look, that water has not penetrated to the skull yet. So now the third time, it's a three-step process. You take your hand and you pour the water onto the forehead of the dog and you scrunch it in, but you let the water soak in. Okay. And now it's penetrating to the skull and you let that water sit there for a few seconds and that will help cool down your dog and do that quite frequently. Do you like actually see many cases though where people do this, like they overrun their dog or their dog's outside all day? Oh, Robin, I see it way too many times and it is because people do not understand what they need to be doing unfortunately people they take their dogs running they take their dogs you know on long hikes they don't give the dog a break they don't give them ample water they give them warm water when it should be cool water and people in our busy day and age must realize and i don't want to sound too harsh here realize (laughs) that this is an animal that does not want to do everything you want to do right like go running at five o'clock in the evening when it's 31 degrees out brad thank you so much for educating us about keeping our pets safe this summer and hey if you want brad's help maybe you've got a dog that could use some of brad's training ways i have his website posted on my blog at b101fm.com fairies hit music b101